it's Brittany Jackson from Learning Technologies. And today we're going to talk about importing question banks into your course. So I'm in the Moodle Playground, and I actually don't need to click on the edit button for this particular feature. If I click on the three gears over here, here I can see activities, question bank, course settings. But under question bank, I want to choose import. There are a couple of imports on this page. Make sure you're choosing the one that's under question bank. So if I click that, I now am given this page where I've got these file formats. So if, if you've got your test in a Word document, it has to be a specific format, which is covered in a separate video, but that would be using the Aiken format. So be a, you need it to be a .txt file and you would choose the Aiken format. If you've taught the course before in Blackboard or your publisher has the information in Blackboard format, you would click Blackboard. Embedded answers or close. This is where you want to import text passages with questions such as multiple choice or short answers embedded within. Exam view is to import questions from a third party software called exam view. And then the gift format is importing text file questions such as multiple choice, true, false, short answer, missing word, matching, numerical, and essay questions. The missing word format is where you can import multiple choice or short answer questions via a text file. Moodle XML format, you can import questions already formatted for Moodle. So if you've got them from another course, you can do it that way. In WebCT format, you can import multiple choice and short answer questions. The most common ones are the Aiken, Blackboard, and occasionally exam view. Every now and again, these others come into play, but most of the ones I've seen have been in those three formats primarily. So here I'm gonna choose Aiken, and I'm gonna go down here to General, and I'm gonna make sure that my category is where I want it to be. Yes, I want it to be in the Moodle Playground 11, but if I wanted to move it, I could. I'm going to leave Match Grades and Stop on Error, and then I'm gonna go out and find my file. I'm gonna click Choose File, and here I'm going to find my .txt file in this case, because that's what I've got it in. That's gonna be this one, and go ahead and click Upload this file. You can see that it has populated here. And then once I hit import, it comes back as green. We're doing good. Hit continue. And now those questions that I just put in are uploaded right here. So what's the correct answer? What's the correct answer? And which LMS has the most whatever? So you can see all of those are the ones that I just created. And really that's all there is to importing test questions into your course. So as always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're located in the library and we're here to help. And as always, happy moodling. Thank you.